Welcome to this special report on COVID-19, brought to you by CNA TV. Welcome to the NACA COVID-19 report. I'm your host, Dane Henning. Nearly 26,000 residents and 450 staff in U.S. nursing homes have died from COVID-19, federal authorities announced Monday afternoon, while also declaring they would be increasing penalties for non-compliant providers. Overall, more than 60,000 residents and 34,400 staff have gotten sick in the U.S., according to figures released by CMS and the CDC. The numbers represent just partial accounting under the federal agency's new reporting scheme. Figures for residents and staff are expected to climb significantly. Quote, while many nursing homes have performed well and demonstrated that it's entirely possible to keep nursing home patients safe, we are outlining new instructions for state survey agencies and enforcement actions for nursing homes that are not following federal safety requirements, CMS Administrator Seema Verma said in a statement on Monday. The agencies reported the numbers earlier to the nation's governors. This data and anecdotal reports across the country clearly show that nursing homes have been devastated by the virus, wrote CDC Director Robert Redfield and Verma to the governors in a letter dated on Sunday. According to that communication, the numbers reflect data submitted as of May 24th from about 80% of the nation's roughly 15,400 nursing homes. Roughly one in four nursing homes had at least one COVID-19 infected patient and one in five had at least one death. CMS said it is toughening penalties based on the early COVID-19 data trends, as well as on findings of the agency's targeted infection control inspections by increasing fines for providers that consistently perform poorly in infection control measures. Additionally, the agency will start imposing enforcement actions on lower level deficiencies, quote, to ensure they are addressed with increased gravity. CMS began posting the CDC collected COVID-19 related data on the Nursing Home Compare website on Thursday. Results will be broken down by state, number of residents, and number of staff. States are also in CMS's crosshairs. Those that do not complete 100% of their focused infection control surveys by July 31st will be required to submit corrective plans of action within 30 days. Those that are still not at 100% level after 30 days could see a 10% reduction of CARES Act 2021 funding. Further 30-day non-compliant periods could produce additional 5% reductions. Collected funds will be distributed among states that have completed all of their focused surveys. Thank you very much for joining us on this COVID-19 report, and we'll see you next time.